If you are new to this channel, I am Sumit Vansari, currently an MBBS intern at AIMS Nagpur. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Without any further ado, let's begin the discussion. A disclaimer before beginning this video is that if you haven't studied for a year or two at least and you are expecting only the hard work that you do in these 50 days will change your score dramatically, you are a fool. This is not going to change your score dramatically. Let me tell you what benefits it will do you. If you are already scoring above 600, the last 50 days strategy will maintain your score at that level. If you are scoring below it, these 50 days can increase your score by 30 to 50 marks. I got a good rank way back in NEET 2019 and got my dream college that is AIMS Nagpur. So can you if you work hard for the last 50 days. These 50 days can make or break your career. These 50 days can change your score completely. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you an ultimate NEET UG 50 days challenge that if you complete will increase your score by around 30 to 50 marks guaranteed. So watch the complete video and stick till the end for the challenge. The first point in the discussion is completing the complete syllabus. You should have at least read it once or twice till now. And if you haven't, then I don't know what is going to happen in the final exam. The complete syllabus of NEET UG must be completed at least 10 times before you appear for the exam. In these last 50 days, try to revise it 5 to 10 times. You can score convenient 300 plus in biology just by reading NCRTs. For chemistry again, NCRTs are the bible. You should read NCRTs for chemistry too. But additional points uh, such as notes from your institute that you are studying or any other coaching that you have joined. Plus the previous year questions, topics, notes, you should revise them along with the NCRTs. But for physics, it's a completely different story. Since for physics, it's more of solving MCQs rather than reading it. The second thing that you should do is solving MCQs. You should solve at least 100 to 200 MCQs per subject per day in the last 50 days. Now it's a lot but it's a peak time to study. You should give your max efforts in these last 50 days and that will definitely help you to score a really good rank. The most important thing in these last 50 days is solving previous year questions. If you are solving questions from MCQ textbook and it doesn't contain previous year questions, you are gonna blunder in the final exams. You should solve previous year questions and these previous year questions are gonna repeat themselves and give you an idea about how the question are being asked. Now I present you the last 50 days ultimate NEET UG challenge. If you complete this challenge, you will maintain a really high score. If you are scoring already above 600, if you are scoring below it, you could increase your score by at least 30 to 50 marks. So let's begin it. First thing that you should do is revising the complete syllabus for at least 5 times within these 50 days. That gives you an average of 10 days per revision. This number must go up for subject like biology. Next, we have solving MCQs. You should solve at least 150 MCQs per subject per day. The third point in the 50 days challenge is to give grand test of complete syllabus. You must give at least 10 full syllabus tests and analyze your mistakes. The last point is being consistent. Since it's the last 50 days, you can make or break your result with working hard in these last 50 days. There must not be any cheat days for these 50 days and you would definitely score good. If you complete this challenge, I'm sure you are gonna score good and come to a premier institute like AIMS and next year maybe guide your juniors with this let's end this discussion if you like this video give it a like subscribe and share it with your friends